Hey, so you're gonna win on our birthday. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you. Yes, sir. So yeah, we got we get ready for Mr. Cam Tinsley. Thank you once again for coming on. Coming on. Look forward to talking with you. Shout out to Cam. Uh, Cam at the Museum, the best person in Memphis. Yes, yes, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all heard it here. DJ Credit, we, we're live, so I can't stop the broadcast. So we're going to keep going. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Oh, my goodness. We're going to pause one. Pause the mic. I'm going to look at these comments. Man, these comments so small. Hold on. I don't have a reader, y'all. You know my reader not here. <laughs> Yeah, so we are. Thank you, everybody. The man himself, the man of the hour. Man, this man so this man so impactful. I gotta have two interviews with him. Cause we're gonna have him on again, y'all. This man, that's your name, Hill. They, you know, uh, Memphis is his name. Mr. Memphis. This man is so historical. This man is an icon in the city, icon in the community. I wish I could just show you his beautiful facility. Man, it's beautiful. It's got a, a lot of collectibles, a lot of pictures. Uh, man, this guy is he's connected to everybody. I'm looking at James Brown right there. Man, so many um, entertainers. Is that Denzel Washington over there? Is that Denzel? Oh, wow. See, oh, wow. This brother here, Mr. Cam M. Tensey, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, I got I to gotta put that. I got to put the claws on. I got to put a, a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. But Mr. Cam M. Tensey. Oh, this brother here, man. I'm going to tell you something. This, this brother showed so much love to me. I was, and I'm way down in Atlanta. I'm up in Memphis, Tennessee. Y'all know about Memphis, the home of uh, uh, 8 Ball, MJG, Young Dolph, and all them. The home of Stax Records. Y'all saw me earlier today at Stax. Y'all need to come up here and get some of this history. I'm about to give y'all a little history right here, right now, with this young man right here, Mr. Cam Memphis. Look, why I'm around the bar. What's up, my brother? How, How you, you doing, Brady, baby? How you doing, baby? Doing great, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you no. for being in Memphis, man. Man, no, thank you for having me yes. here. Yes. Um, I, I just have a question, because everybody keeps asking me, Brady, what is... The rise of 300. Yes, sir. And uh, you can tell about it. Tell about, well, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself, but yeah. please just tell people about the rise of 300. Yes, the rise of 300 is, a, is basically a movement. We Collectively, my, my committee, as well as Monday, I must see, came up with a uh, concept back in uh, maybe six years, six, seven years ago. It's, it's, it's moving into fruition now as far as the rise of 300. The rise of 300 is the uh, let me explain it this way. Mana must see the the mana must see is the body. That's my mother, Ma, my Thelma, and the nine siblings. I'm the youngest of the nine. They call me baby boy nine, the Camel Tenzi. So the mana must see is the body. It's just like you have an eagle, like the American uh, uh, symbol is the eagle. Yeah. You have a body. Then the eagle has left wing. And it has the right wing, just like the government has Republican and Democrat. The body is the government, right? Yeah. The body of this movement is Mana Musi. It has two wings. The left wing, let me start. The right wing is the Stone Awards, which we play. Uh, we pay a tribute and we honor major leaders, trailblazers, pioneers, artists, uh, uh, philanthropists for the last 27 years. We we. We pay tribute to them. We give them their flower while they're here to motivate them to uh, keep moving forward and keep building. Now, the left wing is accountability. That's the name of the left wing is accountability. That's the rise of 300. The Star Wars, yes, the Star Wars honor, the Star Wars honor the trailblazer, the right wing, and the left wing wing is the accountability, which that's the rise of 300. We have. Uh, Throughout the year, we we do our homework, pull bios. We have a, a committee that drop names, and we pull names, and we, we we do a check. And then we come up with a decision. Out of let's say 300 names, we decided to select 25, like this year. And out of those 25, like you, we we check and see your body of work, your commitment to the community. Are are you a builder? 
meaning are you a uh, a builder for for the betterment of all? Are you are you using your your moral compass for the betterment of your community, like like the state of Georgia, Atlanta? Um, so the rise of three hundred is a movement that uh, predicated to placing accountability on those leaders, stating that look, his work still need to be done. You as a, you as a leader, you're doing great things, but the fight and the war is is not won yet. So we got to keep fighting. And we got to keep building. So the rise of 300 is selecting those moral leaders. And I say moral, moral leaders to unify as one unit. It's like a well, a, a well or machine. You know, uh, just imagine uh, what's your favorite automobile? Make, make your model. You just tell me, what is your favorite automobile? Oh, make your model? Uh, right now, it's a uh, Ford F100. <laughs> okay, well, that, that Ford what there has a lot of power, definitely a lot of power. Let's just say when you first get the when you when you first get the truck, uh, it's new. All everything works, everything all properly is new. To maintain that, you have to uh, you have to keep everything components all the years, but you have to maintenance. The rise of three hundred is like the truck. It's, it's a movement. It's it's a vehicle that's gonna that's gonna uh, propel a movement. Right. And in the process of that, out of all of the, the the members of the Rise 300, we sharpen each other. We keep we keep each other oiled up, so we can keep moving forward as a unit. So let's let's say that you you're a great guy. You're doing so much. You're a leader. You're an activist in the in the, in the city of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. We know because we already did research on you. So just imagine it's you and plus 124. Getting to know each other as a unit, propelling, making, making a uh, advanced movement for the betterment of the society. Senator Tate, Senator Tate, the delayed Senator Tate, great, great friend of mine. He, uh, I came, I, I brought the idea to him years ago, years ago. This is what I want to do. He said, "Yeah, let's do that." So I, I need, I need you to work, work with. Uh, I'm asking, I need you to work with the language of the decree. I, I need to create a decree. And of, of course, the first thing I did, I, I submitted my decree to him. He said, oh, wow, man, you're going to scare leaders away. We got to we got to really play. We got to really, yeah, so we could get him in, let them understand it. Because he's a senator. He know about resolution, proclamation, and decree. And before he died, he was he, he was there for me to create a decree. For, for the leaders, you know, and it has and that decree has all the elements, all the components that would speak to your soul as a leader. So tomorrow or tomorrow, April the third, this is Martin Luther King weekend here in Memphis. You will be inducted into the Rise of Three Hundred. You're one of the twenty five members because you're doing great things in this in the state of Georgia, uh, and we thank you for that. So now you're part of a movement. You're part of a movement, meaning that if there's a doctor, professor, philanthropist that you know, once you get to know them, they'll be a part of your movement. They'll, you're a part of their movement. That one connection is the 300, the rise of 300. So it would it would allow you to, it would allow you to uh, move forward, knowing that you got a full team behind you in your state. Although we may be in a letter and a, a member may be in a California or Louisiana, you'll be able to call them to have a conversation when you at your lowest. Because as leaders, it's, it's hard to we can't really we can't really convey our thoughts of what we're going through as leaders to anyone. Right. A lot of people can't relate, right. but another leader can. Yes. And so you have a family that you you'll be able to call it. Hey man, I I tell you what, yeah, we're gonna pray this, we're gonna do this prayer, we're gonna and I'm I'm gonna support you or this is the direction you need to go because you. This, there's major elders that's much older than we are. You know, you gotta, you gotta seek counsel. You know, and it's hard to seek counsel uh, when when you're going through. Because a lot of times I had to really just barricade myself in the house and, and just pray to the Lord because I really didn't have nobody to call. But I understand the mythology of iron shopping iron. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Iron gets dug, but he needs another piece of iron. Yeah. Hey, that's why I love talking yeah. to you, Cam. You always inspire me and put that. This right here just put a big battery in my back, so I can't wait to get back to my community. That's what it's all about. You know, it, it, you better believe people, you put a battery in that someone in here back for today, that you motivated them to see a young man like you. And, it, and you have no idea who you inspired in here, you know? But you inspired me. You here. You know, I'm seeing how you move. Uh, I see, I feel your drive. I, I, I feel your spirit. I know the direction you're going. My hats off to you, man. I, I, I appreciate you for being a great leader. Uh, thank you, man. I, I wouldn't be nothing without my team. My brother DJ Teddy Bear, La La News. Yes, uh, yes, sir. So we are, we, we, man. I just been blessed. My team, my Greater Baby Radio team. Uh, be the light. Uh, be the light. G Clark, Shamika, uh, Tisa Bailey, one of the hollers. Dara Thomas. Every, just a whole. Oh my goodness, got a lot of everybody had their hands. I wish y'all did, um, Katrina. Everybody, man, it's just an honor and pleasure to be to, to, to be recognized. You're highly favored, yes. This is just the beginning for you. Again, like I say, uh, on, on tomorrow, once you take the pledge, they induct you. The other 100 members, the official members, agree. They agree, you know, like we agree that you you, you, you are a rise 300 member on tomorrow. You take your pledge. Man, you're going to have a fighting machine behind you. Oh man, nothing but leaders. Not, you know what? Not, <laughs> but nothing but leaders, though. That's that's the thing. That's, we talking about leaders that understand your call, understand your calling, understand your plight, understand your feelings. I've already been there before. They can man. counsel you. It's it's amazing. Man. I'm excited, yeah. man. Uh, and, like and there's no coming. other feeling knowing that you have help. Yes. Somebody oh, that you can call them. Because oh, man, I'm gonna tell you, who, who can when everybody is that person who everybody call for help. Yeah. And you can't turn to nobody. That's a feeling. You look back and there's nobody behind you now. now I have uh, 300 to look at. Yeah, well, 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 we 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 have 100. Or tomorrow be 25. It'll be 125. We every year we'll be inducted 25 new war leaders across the nation, not just in Memphis. Like like on tonight, we had uh, leaders from California, Little Rock, uh, uh, Nashville. Uh, oh my God, man. Uh, uh, um, Arizona. Arizona, thank you. We had probably different, we had about seven or eight leaders from different states that flew in or drove in to be, to be a part of the Rise 300. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's about nation building. It's, you know what I mean by that? It's about nation building. And Rise 300 goal is to at least uh, start the conversation of it, you know? Right. And, use, and use it as a resource. We have, we have doctors and professors that's a part of RISE. We have an attorney that's running for a DA that you, that's a great one, that's a great, great leader and attorney in the city of Memphis. And please, if local Memphians, vote for Linda Harris. <laughs> we, yeah, we, yeah, please, please do, uh, local Memphians. Yeah. Um, I have one more question to ask you um, about the Stone Awards because after this, there's um, October the 9th, correct? October the 8th. Uh, October the 8th. Yeah. And can, can you explain to people about the Stone Awards and yeah, just and the, the, and the, the Stone, right? The Stone Awards is that is the right wing. The Stone this year is the twenty seventh annual Stone Award. Again, it's all about it's all about galvanizing leaders together in, in one venue and sending messages to them. Even in the even at the war show, it's, it's, entertainment can be entertainment. Even within the entertainment, it's a message. Even in the entertainment. Because it's all about it's all about uh, sending the message to the leader. Because let's just say you may have 10, 20,000 followers, right? Years ago, Grady Baby, with the Stone Awards, we went we wanted just to, we wanted to cease to be filled with with leaders as well as uh, spectators, supporters, ticket buyers. But now we on this mission that we want leaders in the seat more so than anything. We we want if we got a, a city capacity of five hundred. You better believe, Grady, that we're trying to get 500 leaders in those seats because it's it's not just an award show, it's a mission. So just, I can't wait to one day that we're going to have 500 leaders around the world that'll come to the award show and we send them their message in a way to motivate them and place accountability on them. Not telling them or scolding them or critiquing them or just sending the message that look, this is what we are. This reality where we are. We are leaders. 
it, it, it was art, like I'm an artist, so art, art reflects life, reality. As an artist, I know that I'm a painter and a performer. A leader, a leader job is to is to know, know the, the 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 time that we are living in, and if that if the time that we're living in, it have if, if, and in that time we have may have disparity, right? A leader has to identify that disparity that's happening in this reality we live in it, you need to attack that. Like, I could take on a lot of topics and subjects that, that we're dealing with as Americans right now in the city in, 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 in this, this this country, USA, that you know and I know that we need to deal with. I mean, from voter fraud, let's talk voter fraud, that they're trying to, I don't want to do, I don't want to get too, too political on your, on your, your site, but there's a lot of issues that's going on uh, that leaders, so-called leaders, allow it to happen. That's affecting uh, the ordinary blue-collar, white-collar, hard-working individual. There's a lot of leaders allowing different laws to be passed or overlooking it, and it's causing a trickle-down effect. It's causing a big rabbit hole within the citizen, and the citizen is really hurting the worst. You know, as a leader, that's what the Stone Wall does. Get them in there, award them the great leaders that are doing great things, and send a message that, all right, we're going to have to move forward. We're going to have to make better decisions as you, as a leader. You're going to have to make better decisions in what you do. I always go in. I'm always criticizing myself how I could have done it better, how I could have made my city of Memphis better. Yeah. So I always go within before I support anything, you know? And yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was. October the 8th, uh, the 27th annual Stone Awards, man, and uh, it's going to be a great, great time, and definitely going to have you back, right, because that's when you're going to really get your, the celebration of it all on a, as a member. Yes, I'm right. so happy, just want to say thank you once again oh, thank you, for the man. opportunity, thank you to your team for selecting me, I, I wasn't even aware, I got the email, I felt like I was going into the Hall of Fame, hey, I said, you know what, it is, it's like that, what, what you just said, I'm sorry to cut you off, but but what you just said, it's it's like that because it's the hall, it's the hall of fame of real true leaders. The hall of fame could adopt anyone, right? Because of their status or what they've done over the years. I get that. But you're a true leader leader that's in the trenches, man. That's the respect I have for you. You are in the trenches. You to me, to me. Your status is much greater than someone that's in the Hall of Fame. I don't care what type of artist, or whatever. You know, I mean, I'm not knocking it, but my respect for you is much greater than that I have respect for someone just getting in a getting an award or getting inducted, you know, because of status or a song they wrote or whatever. I'm not into that. I'm, a, I'm all about rebuilding a stronger foundation, and you doing that, my brother. So yes, you are part of you are part of this. You know, this Hall of Fame. Thank you, my brother. Man, thank you, my brother. That's why I tell everybody, you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do, so you can do what you want to do. Yeah. Um, be the, and be be the best at what you do. And, and you know our mantra: we always say, each one reach one, each one teach one. Because like I said, you never know who's watching. I didn't know right. Mr. Mr. Cam and his team was watching what I was in doing. The, watching you in Memphis, Tennessee. Let me say this: Atlanta, Georgia, support this brother and his team. They're making major moves. You, you guys have to support realness. This brother is real. He's in the trenches. I need everyone to start supporting this brother. Start now. Accountability. I'm placing accountability on you guys right now. Support Grady Baby and his team, okay? God bless. You know what? I'm going to let him close it out right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the word, y'all. Love you guys. Each one, each one, each one, two, one. We love you guys. We out here. Peace. Okay.